up YouTube? It is your boy Airsoft Fatty. I am shirtless right now and I am proud of it. And uh, I am here to bring you guys a life story. Now I don't know if you guys want to see a series of life stories where I have videos where I just talk about my experiences in life. But um, I have an embarrassing one that I want to talk about. And the reason I want to do this embarrassing story is because I have to go and get a colon scope done, or they just have a camera up your butt. And to make that less embarrassing, I'd rather share something that's more embarrassing. And one that I more so laugh about nowadays, because it was a funny ass thing that happened. So if you can't judge from the title of the video, you're gonna see, you're gonna hear some pretty fucked up shit. Okay, so let me take you back. 2001, Thanksgiving Day. I didn't know it was Thanksgiving Day at the time. I was too young to pay the fuck attention to any holiday except Christmas and Halloween. And, uh, well, I learned to pee by our dogs and poop by my dad. I learned that you poop in the toilet and you pee out on the tree. And this is back when I lived downtown. So, of course, I learned to poop on the toilet, pee on a tree. And I went behind the garage with my toy cap gun. This was back when toy cap gun rifles were hollow when you took the orange tip off and they weren't solid like they are now. And they used to be made of real wood and shit. Like these used to be legit like old cap guns. And I went behind the garage, peed, and I saw the hot neighbor next door out in just her bra and panties. And I bet you're thinking, at that age, you couldn't get a boner. But I did. And I was wondering what the fuck I did with this. My pee, pee was hard. And I didn't know what to do. And then I thought, what would happen if I put my pee pee in a gun? So I took my dad's pliers, tore the orange tip off the cap gun, and my PB was just big enough to fit in there. So I sat there, I took it, I went, huh? Eh. And then I went, oh shit. My PB was stuck in a gun. I couldn't pull it off. So my dad comes out behind the garage and he goes, Christopher, where are you? I said, back here going pee. Meanwhile, I'm holding my fucking dick gun and I'm trying to peek over the garage, trying to just not let go because as soon as it drops, it's going to bend my dick. And he's like, come inside, it's time for dinner. And I'm sitting there thinking, oh shit, mom's got to see this. I'm like, I'll be there in a minute. So I stayed out there, hid in the garage, and a half hour later, my dad comes to look for me. He finds me in the garage. And I'm turned around, so my back is towards him. He said, why are you peeing in the garage? He says, I said, don't ask questions, just let me be. And he goes, well, it's time to go inside for Thanksgiving dinner. And that's when it fucking hit me. It was thanks fucking giving. Oh, shit. So... After about five minutes of talking to him with my back turned to him, he finally comes around and sees his willy is stuck in a billy. And, uh, my dad kind of just gave me that look like, you really are the disappointment of the family. He said, come on, come inside. I'm like, no, 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 no. And I didn't know my grandmother was there. Both my aunts were there, my Uncle Matt was there, my Uncle Brian was there, my cousin Landon, Lauren, and Josh were there. Everyone was there. So, of course, I walk in the house, and my grandma damn near has a heart attack, seeing what happened. Both my uncles, my ma Uncle Matt and my aunt, my Uncle Brian, pull out their little phones, their little flip phones, and start snapping pictures. My mom goes get the fucking camcorder and starts recording me. I gotta 
to see if she still has the footage, and I'll put it in the video if I can find it. But, uh, fucking starts recording me. My aunts are sitting there saying, see, this is why you shouldn't play with guns. Of course, real successful they were nowadays. My whole channel's based around guns. Anyhow, making a long story short, I had to get taken around the table because my bedroom was on the other side of the kitchen, well, other side of the dining room, and I had to walk all the way around the table. I'm smacking, ta smacking chairs with this gun, trying to hold it. Mind you, this gun was like a full-size rifle. It was like a small, short 22. It was like an actual gun. So my dad takes me to my room, and my mom comes in, still fucking recording, sets the camera down to keep recording, and they're freaking out because we can't get the gun off. My dad tries to pull it off, and I scream, ah! like I'm screaming, that fucking hurt. So they're like, how are we gonna get this gun off? We tried everything. Water, soap, soap and water, cooking oil. We tried almost everything we could think of that was lubricant to get this shit off. And then my dad had one last idea. Gasoline. He took me outside, pulled out the two gallon gasoline can we had. We had a small gas can at the time. So we didn't have a big yard, so we just needed a small mower. And he pours it on my crotch. For those of you who don't know, you should never get gas near your crotch. Because it fucking burned. So now I'm crying at this point. I'm fucking in tears. My dick is burning. It is stuck in a gun. I am four years old. Why the fuck did I do this? Needless to say, we got it off. My dick was swollen red. But it was off. Went to the doctor, they checked it out. They said he'll be okay, it'll swell, it'll swell for a few days, but it'll be alright. And then they said, we put gasoline on there. He says, oh, that's going to burn for a few days. For three days after that, I'll never forget. They took me to the doctor the next day. They didn't obviously take me on Thanksgiving because they weren't open, but... Uh, Thanksgiving dinner that day was very interesting, to say the least. That was probably the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to me in my life. And I can tell you a concert story in the next story video, which I might do tomorrow. Just to bolt get videos out for you guys. So yes, when I was four years old, I stuck my willy in a billy. Was it fun? Nope. Was it the worst decision I've made in my life? Yeah. Worst decision of my life. Worst. And that's the story of the time that I put my willy in a gun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I did. Because, honestly, going back, I still giggle about it every now and then. Because this is just, like, the stupidest thing I've ever done. And, um, stay tuned for more videos. I'll probably be doing more life story videos as I go on, because they're a bit easier to make right now. And for the next few weeks, I am going to be um, busy with school. And then during the summer, expect nothing but uploads at least once a week. Also, this is the first video where I'm shaved. I shaved for the first time last night and this morning. So the beard is gone, and so is the mustache. 
I'm a queen baby face now. So I hope you guys can enjoy it. For the ladies. For the guys.